Hi, my name is Ed Diaz, and today's video I'm going to show you how to create an aggregate device inside your MacBook. Now what an aggregate device does, it allows you to take multiple audio interfaces and combine them as one. So when you're working inside your favorite doll, uh, it, it will recognize them as one audio interface. Now the benefit of this is that now we will have more ins and outs on our audio device. Now there's two things you're going to probably need to do uh, before you attempt this. Uh, number one, make sure all that your audio devices have the proper uh, audio drivers in them. So in my example, I'm going to use the JDXI, System 1, and the Quad Capture. And I've already gone to the Roland website and downloaded all the necessary drivers for it. Uh, another thing is an option uh, is a powered USB hub. You don't have to have this, but if you have a a lot of USB devices and limited amount of USB inputs on your MacBook, it's definitely worth it. So uh, some kind of powered USB hub and I'm, I'm happy to be using a Belkin. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my MacBook into my application section, go into my utilities, and now I'm gonna go into my audio MIDI setup. So I'll double click on that. So now that you can see my audio devices, you see everything that's hooked up inside my MacBook. So I have uh, AirPlay, of course, some uh, the built-in microphones outputs. But if we go down further, you see it recognized my Quad Capture, my System 1, and JDXI, all as separate devices. So all I have to do is go down to the plus here, click on the plus, and now it says Create Aggregate Device, and I'm going to click on it. And now it shows me all of the choices that I have available to me to create this aggregate device. So I'm gonna choose Quad Capture, which gives me six ins and four outs. The System 1, which is two ins, two outs. And the JDXI, which is also two ins and two outs. So now that I've selected them all, you see it says aggregate device. I'm gonna name it something that I can remember and I know what's hooked up to here. So I'm gonna call this one Quad Sys one, of course, maybe JDXI. So there we go. I've created the, the aggregate device. Now let's uh, use it inside a doll. And I'm going to open up Ableton here to a brand new uh, project. Okay, now that we're inside Ableton, let's go ahead and go to the preferences and look at my audio tab right here on the left. Now I'm going to go into the driver type. It's set to core audio. And I'm going to choose audio input device. Now if I Hit this drop down menu. You see it has all my separate interfaces there, but then check it out. There's my quad sys1 JDXI, my aggregate device that we just created. Uh, so I have that for the audio input device. Now I'm gonna go for the audio output device and guess what? I'm gonna use the same thing right here. So that's cool. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Uh, before we do that though, let's check the input configuration. Make sure all the inputs are ready and uh, remember, one through six are from the quad capture, seven and eight are from the system one, and nine and 10 are the JDXI. So we have that and output configuration. I could have them all on, but I'm, I think I'm just only gonna use the quad capture to be my main outs. So I'm gonna just select uh, one and two. So, okay. Now let's go to some audio right here. So I'm gonna name this audio right away. We'll name this one, uh, sys1 and I'll name this one JDXI. Great, now that I have them named, let's go ahead and adjust them. So uh, we're gonna go external input and let's look inside the drop down menu. And remember system one is on seven and eight and I'm gonna monitor that input and let's choose a sound now on the system one. There's the system one. Pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and choose the JDXI. JDXI is on nine and 10. And now I'm gonna monitor that input right there. And now let's play the JDXI. Let's go ahead. Now if I wanted to use the quad capture, I could say let's create another audio device and I'll put it over here. And we could go ahead and name this one quad and if I had uh, anything else hooked up, I could show you that. But also very easy to set up. That one, remember it's one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And I could have it running as well. Now here's another thing that happens when you do this. Let's say the MIDI side. If I wanted to record MIDI, 
guess what? Let's do MIDI from the System 1. So I'm going to name this one uh, Sys 1 MIDI. Great. And I'm going to name this one JDXI MIDI. So now let's check how we would set up the MIDI. So I'm going to do the System 1 first. So we already named them. And let's see, System 1 MIDI from, there it is, the System 1. Let's go ahead and check it. System 1 on channel 1. And MIDI 2, so we can go back from Ableton to talk to the System 1. Uh, let's go System 1 right here, channel 1. And you see they're all moving. So as you see, the System 1 is not only sending out audio through the USB, it's also sending out MIDI as well. And so that's really good. Let's do, the, do it again here with the JDXI. So let's say MIDI from the JDXI. And on the JDXI has some uh, multiple channels. Uh, MIDI channel 1 is Digital Synth 1. MIDI channel 2 is Digital Synth 2. Uh, MIDI channel 3 is the analog and MIDI channel 10 is traditionally drums. So if I wanted to record drums on this guy, I would go to MIDI channel 10, uh, MIDI 2, JDXI once again, MIDI channel 10. Make sure that the drums is selected on my JDXI and that quickly I could have audio and MIDI going from these guys. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, this is very easy to do. Create an aggregate device uh, inside your MacBook. In my example, I use the JDXI, the System 1, quad capture. Now remember, there are a couple things you need to do before you try this. Make sure you download all the necessary drivers or it will not work, okay? The computer has to know how to talk to these instruments. Also, if you need more USB uh, inputs for your computer, especially me since I only had two, uh, make sure you get you a powered USB hub. All right, my name is Ed Diaz. I hope this really helps you out. You guys take care. Bye-bye.